It's really not as complicated as you think. All you need is a flathead screwdriver and all your regular winterization stuff, and you can winterize the ice maker in your RV freezer. So a couple things first, again, I'm not a technician, I'm not an RV technician. Uh, if you really don't know what you're going into in your RV, always seek professional help. There's people out there that live with these things and work with these things a lot. This is just what I've learned. So assuming that you've got a number of things first, you're winterizing your RV and you're using the air pressurization system, you've got your lines pressurized with air, and you also have some way of getting 120 to your unit. In this case, I'm running the generator and the transfer switch is flipped over and now the whole coach is energized and the refrigerator is energized. So what I have to the fridge or the freezer and the ice maker to be more specific is I have pressurized air, not too high, about 20 PSI, and I have 120 to it. Okay, what do you do next? It's pretty simple. All you have to do is put the ice maker into active mode, I'll say. You're gonna need to remove this access cover that's over the ice maker. And on this model, it just pulls off. It's held on by two or three maybe plastic tabs. And you're gonna expose two gears that are on the ice maker. Now we're gonna encourage the gears to move with your screwdriver, okay? In this case, this is a flathead. And I'm gonna put this on the gears and turn the small gear so everything starts to move. So what's important about these gears? Well, in this case, the large gear, when it makes one full rotation, that is when the solenoid opens up. Okay, so normally you'll have this pressurized with water. When that gear makes a rotation, it's gonna let more water in. In the process, it would have pushed out whatever ice cubes into the tray, and now you're ready to make more ice. Well, in this case, we're not making ice. We just want that solenoid to open up so we can get air through the lines and push the water out. So once I turn this gear, once I turn the small gear with the screwdriver, the ice maker takes over, the large gear makes one full rotation, the solenoid opens up, air gets pushed through the lines, water gets pushed out, and then it stops. So then you have to repeat the process over and over again. So in my experience, it takes about five to 10 times maybe of that solenoid opening up to get air through the lines and then water out of your ice maker system. And this is where I spend the most time winterizing the coach. In fact, I could probably get through the entire coach and winterize it once I've got the air compressor running in maybe five, 10 minutes. But I spend a lot of time in the ice maker because I'm sure replacing an ice maker isn't cheap and I wanna make sure it's clear. So that's pretty much it. Once you're done, you can put that cover back on and you have cleaned your ice maker out of water and you should be winterized for the off season. So I hope that was helpful to you. I hope I helped somebody out there kind of demystify winterizing your RV freezer ice maker. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it. If you want to see more like this, subscribe. It helps me to know what people like, what they want to see. And if anything else, remember, get out there and make your memories today with your family. Off season, I know, right? Does it really need to be an off season?